Welcome back to Sussex Farm for episode 17 with me, Mr. Sealy P. The rain is still hammering down. After my visit to pick up the um, the bourbon, oh no, not to pick it up, to drop off the bourbon um, at Mc, uh, McConnell's, that's obviously done. The rain's still pouring down. There's been an update to the update. Um, some people are saying it hasn't worked on Xbox. Um, as far as I know, it's out on PC at the same time. Um, this this minor one on PS4, as far as I can gather, um, talking to Jim, was just to tweak the fuel prices a little bit because something had gone a bit wrong in update 2. So I'm going to give that a test. I'm going to fill up. I'm going to go down to the docks. I'm going to sell a load and see if it has changed. When I did this last time, I made a loss. Um, so let's see how that pans out. Let's pack this in. Let's get the lights on because it seems to be a bit dark and horrible. So let's fill up. I was on 688, I think. So as long as I go above 688, I'll be laughing. If I don't, I'll be crying. But I can always do some more. Uh, right, let's just say 118. Bang on, 118.8. Um, I can always do some more pig food or some water runs or whatever I want to do. That's fine. Now, as I started off this uh, Let's Play, I started off with machinery already here to simulate the fact that the farm was kind of already an ongoing concern when I came on to help. Um, I had a few deliveries that I brought things over from the Valley Old Farm, things that I'd earned and things that I'd done over there. Uh, recently, I haven't had any of those. What I've been doing is just doing water runs, fuel runs, and various different things like that to make money. So I'm kind of standing on my own two feet now, a little bit better, I think, on uh, Sussex Farm, which was kind of the plan right from the word go, was to get the farm up and running. I've still got a ton of contracts to complete, subscriber contracts that need doing. Where am I heading to? Docks, yeah. Let's get the beacon on. Fuel load. Hazardous job. Has this pay? I did not want to turn then for some reason. Is it because I was trying to turn whilst braking? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> I hope that's what it was. Um, yeah, oh yes, um, the manure spreader. Um, it's, just, it's just, wow. The brocard, is it? I think brocard, brocard. Um, has finished the half of field 20 that had the barley in. Um, and I wasn't sure if it would do that field because it was a fair size whether I'd need to refill again it did that field and there's still 18,000 litres left in the tank in the tank in the uh, in, well in the back of manure so that did incredibly well I'm more than happy with that so I'm thinking if I do right on this run I might buy one of those rather than just lease it and we've got that in the uh, in our arsenal of equipment. I might get rid of the slurry spreader, and rather than doing slurry, just do um, just do manure. I don't know. It's just ideas that are bouncing around in my head. So the moment of truth. I need to get 688. If I don't. I've made a loss. I don't want to make a loss. I really don't. So. I'm going to make 688. It's gone past that already. Whoa, okay. So 688. 788 is 100,000. 88, 98. 108, 108, 128. Wow, I've made about 160 grand on that. Fuel is back on track. It's a hazardous job. I'm just providing a service. That's what I'm here for. I'm also smiling. That's a good little investment. So that money, I think, once I've used that bro card for the next um, field to spread manure, um, I might well buy one. So I'm thinking if I do another pig food run or anything like that. So the things like that now, the pig food runs, the fuel runs, the water runs, unless they're integral to the narrative that I'm doing at that particular time. 
Um, those are going to be done off screen now pretty much because I want to get on with the farming now. I've got fields to harvest, contracts to fulfill. Um, the way I'm making money to get the machinery and things I need to do that is by doing these jobs in between, these fuel runs etc. So that's kind of where I'm going with it. Hopefully the rain will stop because I do need to start some harvesting and I can't do any while the rain's lashing down. But I can do some cultivating. Now the fields that I've all just uh, manure spread, muck spread, don't need ploughing. So I don't really need the cultivator plough. I could do it again because it's a cultivator and sort of subsoiler. So I could do that. Um, or I could just buy um, a cultivator. Which I think is probably going to be the next purchase. A proper cultivator. And I can get those fields cultivated. Then the cultivator plough is there when I need to plough fields out. The cultivator can just whiz over if I don't. Although I have got a plan revolving around the uh, the cultivator plough, but I'm going to have to have a bit of a fiddle of that before I'm before I'm prepared to show you. So I'll see you in a bit when I'm ready for the next job. That's the plan. What I realised while I was waiting for some nicer weather, which doesn't seem to be coming, um, wool pallets. Um, there's quite a good price down at the marina I know I was going to take them up to the airfield and I was going to send them by helicopter or by plane or whichever not by plane by aeroplane um, but the marina price is pretty good at the moment so what I'm going to do is oh, I'm going to do that I was going to lower it like that then disconnect under the straps Now these are going to be shipped off to Big Daddy's Knitting Club at Oakfield. <laughs> He's been waiting. Uh, actually, I need to check. What have I got? Uh, oh, one of them's not completely full yet. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, okay. Not far off, though. Oh, I might take it as is. I thought they were both ready. I'll take what I've got. He'll be happy he's got some wool anyway. So, let's do that first. I have got another little job that I need to do. And it's an interesting one. Um, I need to get the, the details up. So I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to grab the details up on my laptop because I don't want to get it wrong. It's to do with the sugar cane harvest. It's going to be uh, an interesting one. You notice my money's gone down in the corner. Um, I was on 800 and something. That's because I've invested in some equipment. I've invested in, in some equipment on behalf of somebody else. And what they've said is there's some equipment here on Sussex Farm that somebody owns, which I've just bought. It's in need of some repair, so I'm going to take it to the workshop and get it fixed. I will then take it to the docks to be shipped and they will send me a piece of equipment in exchange. So I have already bought the equipment. It works out a little bit better for me because I think what I've just paid out for this particular amount of equipment is cheaper than buying the thing I'm going to get in return. I know it sounds a bit weird, it will make sense. It really will, I promise. At the moment it all just sounds a bit weird. Am I stuck on the wall? Of course I'm stuck on the wall. this down no oh, come on overcooked it is not the word I'll let you into a little secret <laughs> farm dog walked in he was, he was just about to jump up on my lap and I was so busy watching him I didn't pay any attention to the pallet that's why that just happened I panicked and thought if he leaps up on me I know it will do because he does it quite a lot he gets excited and he bends my microphone um, arm up which should be quite frustrating if I'm honest now 
let's strap those down. Oh, why won't they go over? That's odd. They're kind of going through the pallets, but not... Well, as long as I hold the pallets down. They are going up, so they're just going across the pallets there, rather than over the top. I don't mind, as long as the pallets don't fall off. It's all good with me. New pallets already appeared. Let's get these down to the marina. Big Daddy, your wool is on its way. Those pallets aren't moving at all. Fantastic. Right, I'll see you down at the marina in a minute. We'll unload those. I might not even need to unload them, actually. If I just go over the sail point, we should be okay. Now, I'm only slightly concerned, because it definitely said marina... I know the wall cell point had originally been in the in the barn which is now for buying hay and grass. Oh hang on though, there's pallets over there. Oh it's there isn't it? Fantastic. Okay, let's see what we can make. Big Daddy, they're coming your way. It's 36,000. 36,221 on wall. Nice, and that wasn't even two full, two full pallets. I'm more than happy with that. Okay, right. That's nat, that's nat job done. That job done. How long is it going to rain for? Right, I'll have to take this back and I'll look at that other contract then. The moving of machinery and repairing at the uh, at the workshop. The rain has finally stopped and I'm down in the southwest corner of the map. That's Abbott's Farm, just there. Up on that ridge line there is where the store is. Um, now, this is what I was talking about, moving of machinery. So machinery that needs repairing. This was um, sent to me by uh, the Flying Roy or just Roy, however you want to call him. Um, remember my car accident I had a few episodes back? Well, it was Roy that I crashed into. Roy was in Sussex because he'd been put onto a lead of this sugarcane equipment he was coming to buy. The reason he was coming to buy it was he's moved out to the US and they've set up a small sugarcane plantation. However, his cousin, apparently is a bit of an idiot, um went and bought one of those big case um, harvesters. One, they didn't have the money. Two, the farm's too small and they just didn't need one that big. I think he was over exuberant, I think is probably the best word to describe it. Um, so what he's decided to do was to come to the UK. He'd heard about this bit of machinery that was cheaper to buy it here and ship it. Um, then we had our crash, we had a bit of a chat. <coughs> anyway, he's come back to me with his proposal. Anyway, so it's being stored in some uh, barns or shelters over near Abbott's farm by one of the farmers locally um, and like I said before the deal is I buy this machinery which I've already bought I was up to 800 and something thousand so I've bought this machinery um, there's a voucher tractor there's a massive Ferguson sugarcane trailer and then there's the trailed sugarcane harvester which he said will fit his farm far, far better than the, the big case sugar, sugar cane harvester that he's got. But this, apparently, actually it does look a bit wonky, doesn't it? What's happened to that? This and this need a bit of work. The tractor, as far as I'm aware, is okay. So I'm going to take all three of these up to the workshop to be worked on. When they're done, they'll go to the docks, they'll be shipped to him, and he'll ship me 
the cane, sugar cane harvester. Seems like a fair trade to me. There's been nothing underhand. I bought these with my own money. And that's pretty much the contract. He did offer me with the, with the case harvester a tractor as well. But to be fair, I'm okay for tractors. Um, so I'm, I've declined that portion of the... Actually, uh, which way around do I need to do this? I think I need this first. Because the trailer hooks on behind. If I'm not mistaken. As for colour scheme, it's one of those things if he doesn't like it, um, I'm pretty sure he can get it resprayed. Or actually, if he wants me to, if he contacts me while it's in the workshop, I can get it resprayed, I guess, in the workshop, can I? Right, so, that's the setup. That's a very tall pipe, isn't it? I have to watch out for going under bridges and things like that. So, I won't be able to go through Abbott's farm because they've got that low um, overhang in the entrance but this now needs to go to the workshop the tractor seems to be pulling fine I'm not quite sure what's wrong with the trailer it might be the tip mechanism that's, that's faulty and as for the sugarcane um, harvester itself I guess potentially it's just a case of um, wear and tear maintenance it needs to look over before it gets shipped kind of thing um, as far as I can gather I shall go well I got this stuff I can't go this way can I I'm hoping this is going to pull this up that steep hill now. And under the trees and... Yep. Let's get some speed up. If I can. Come on, come on, come on. Or I'm going to have to do one piece of equipment at a time. Keep going, you're nearly there. Two miles an hour, three, it's still moving, that's the main thing. That is so steep. Bit of wheel slip. But we are getting there. Okay, right. Definitely the beacon's on for this. So I personally think that's a pretty fair trade, I like that. It's a good deal. So I'm thinking about the sugarcane harvest. It's not ready yet. It's going to be a while, I guess. That's assuming, of course, it doesn't fail completely. This is not normally the weather that we need for it, but I'm hoping we've had enough heat. We're having a bit of a balmy summer at the moment in the UK. It's set to continue for the next couple of weeks at least, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, so hopefully it'll grow. But I'm going to need sugar cane trailers and various different things like that, I suppose. I hadn't even thought of that. Right, field 28 over there, corn, that's the next thing to be harvested. That's for gypsums, um, for their Kentucky bourbon they're working on, their corn liquor. So that will be the next harvest. Once this is delivered, now the rain stops, sun's out, we can get on with some harvesting. What I'll do then, if I disconnect that first, um, I'll take the tractor in and we'll gradually get these bits of machinery serviced and that'll be sorted out. Once that's all done, that will go down to the docks and that'll be ready for shipping, but that might not be in this episode, of course. Work's going to take a little while to be done, but I'll get these on the ramps just to uh, just see. And like I say, hopefully, if... Um, If the flying Roy gets back to me and isn't happy with the colour scheme, I suppose there's no oh, I left the beacons on. There's no reason at all why I couldn't um, get it resprayed while it's here as part of the package. Okay, that can get worked on. Fantastic, right? Okay. Anyway, I've got a harvest to do, so the workers here at the workshop will get on with that. 
and see if they can't work out what's wrong with this. That does seem to be at a funny angle. I don't know if that's just not sat properly. I don't know. Anyway, right, harvesting. Let's get some corn done. I have leased the Capello Diamond HS12 header, I think I've got on this one. It was shipped to the wrong place, hence I've had to take the uh, harvester to go and collect it. They took it to the scrapyard, that's not where I wanted it. I'd already taken the harvester over to field 28, so it would have been far easier for me to go up the hill to the store to collect it than it would have been for me to come all the way back over to the scrapyard, but anyway, never mind nearly there. So for Gypsum's Bakery, as I've mentioned a few times, who so are now branching out into uh, alcohol it would appear, um, they want 150,000 litres of corn. Now I don't know if I'm going to get that off these two fields. I've got field 28 here and field 13. Fingers crossed I will. But who knows? I'm going to go and get the lorry and trailer. Let's open this out. And there are wider headers, but I didn't think it would fit the Russell Mash. There is a Russell Mash header as well. I think that was a bit narrower. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get even close to 150,000 litres am I? OK, this may well be one of the contracts that continues over. Let's turn beacons off. That one's on. Cruise control on. Fingers crossed. This is a fair size field. And so is 13. Now the rain has stopped and the sun's come out, I should be able to get my bale contracts completed. I've been saying that for two or three episodes, um, but I didn't want to do too much baling, you know, one after the other. I did all the straw, all the bales were done there, so now it'll be hay and I think I've got a contract for a few grass as well, so those will get done soon. So that's one strip, not quite 4,000 litres. Okay, what I will need to do is set a worker and I can go and get the lorry this is going to fill up fairly quickly See, has a full grain tank. I think it's going to be the wrong size of the pipe as well, isn't it? Or is it? Nope. We got lucky.
Russell must have taken a while to unload. I suppose. <laughs> it's all relative. It isn't a long time, is it? But I suppose there are other harvesters which are quicker. just simply not good enough. Let's come back and tidy up in a minute, I think. Right, field 28 is complete. The uh, fence 1050 with the brocard manure spreader. Muck spreader is just finishing off. I think it's one strip and then half a strip the other way. And there's still some in it. <coughs> As you saw, I filled that up from the main yard because there was, I think I did a couple of loads of manure into that. I must have done that off screen. I don't remember actually doing it. Um, as far as corn goes off this field, we've got 62,000 litres. Now what I'm going to get off of field 13 is not going to be that much because this had three fertiliser states but hadn't been ploughed. The other one's only got... The other field has only got two fertiliser states and hasn't been ploughed. I think it might be a smaller field as well. So I, I'm thinking I might get in total about 100,000 litres, which leaves me 50,000 short of the contract. So the fact I've got 62 off of this field without it being ploughed, what I'm going to do is plough it or culti plough it or subsoil it in some way. Then we'll put corn in, we'll have three fertiliser states and I should get more than 62,000 litres. That's going to be a test because I'm curious. Just adding that subsoil in, which is 10% extra, will I get more than the 62,000 I've just got? I should do, in theory. Um, that's kind of how it works. So this now needs to go to field 13. Muck spreading is complete. It kind of made sense to do it all at the same time. While I was moving across the field with the uh, harvester, 
why not spread the manure at the same time too? So uh, that's what I thought I would do. Field 13 is tucked away over that direction, I think. Pretty sure this is the turn. There's a couple of different ways we can get to it. Um, and now, obviously, from update 2, because Jim's left gaps in the hedges and stuff. And if you take off the collisions, of course, you can drive straight through them if you want to. Like there, there's left a gap so we can get through easier. You can move from field to field. So it makes life a little bit more straightforward. Field 13 is... This one here? I'm sure it is. Let's open this up. This one might be bigger than the other one. I don't know, we'll see. I'm anticipating just getting over a hundred thousand litres in total. We'll see how that pans out. Tough. I'm going to do this first strip myself only because the trees down the sides here sometimes the workers get a little bit squirrely, they don't like it. Um, I, I do need to get a Rayboard uh, Xylor, I haven't got one of them yet. The uh, stump grinder, tree destroyer, plow, you name it, it does everything. Because uh, there are a few fields actually, I, I've said that as well, I'm sure I just said that a couple of episodes ago, if not more, um, that I need to go around some of the fields and do a bit of tidying up just to make it easier for workers. But Actually, this is... This all seems to be incredibly good. Uh, that's old. OK, well, I'm not knocking it. If this continues like this, we may well be closer to uh, the contract amount than I thought. Good news, of course. Now I do need to do some cultivating um, and I don't have a dedicated cultivator. I've got the cultivator plow which is fine if you want to plow a field like subsoil and get the cultivating um, all done in one hit. If you just want to cultivate on a larger scale you need a bigger cultivator. So I do need to get a cultivator. Um, I'm, I had a plan for the cultivator plow. Oh, that was interesting. Okay what I will do as soon as the worker was on that I didn't lose any crop so that's a bit of a bonus what I'm going to do let's swing that round a bit without driving on the crop careful cut this end and then uh, we'll go do a strip the other way and hopefully with a strip this way and then a am to do on the other end as well the workers shouldn't have a problem at all I should be able to just uh, whiz up and down very neatly I'll do the same with this one as well I'll um, actually I'll keep saying I need to buy the broke card and um, I've, so when I empty it this time I really will do it when I empty it this time I'll then um I think the best thing to do will be to buy one. conscious of the fact that over the last few episodes there hasn't been a huge amount of actual like it's all farm work it's all work that farmers do do but I mean field work is probably the best way to, to put it I did the barley harvest that's fine 
sugar cane is still growing, potatoes are still growing, sugar beet is ready to harvest, and my wheat field over on field 15, which you can just see through the trees, um, that's ready to harvest as well. And I do have a contract for wheat too. Um, so, like I say, the next couple of episodes, I want to get some more actual, you know, field work harvesting done and re-prepping the ground ready for the next one. Interspersed with your little contract job, your delivery job, whether it be um, bread to the docks, whether it be water, whether it be fuel, whether it be pig food. I haven't done any grass or hay. I think it's hay I might do. Um, a load of hay out to the um, livestock market, um, as CLEG asked me to. And I need to try and make some total mixed rations, surplus to what I need, and try and sell some total mixed ration there as well, because I haven't done that either. Um, so yeah, a few bits and bobs to try out. Now, Mr. Gibson of Gibson's Bakery, we didn't agree a price, um, but that's not a problem, because what I was thinking was, whatever I get paid for the corn, it's that kind of storage uh, situation, um, that will be my fee. So whatever I get paid is what I get paid. Um, it's been no bother doing it, and it's actually worked out that I've got the fields as well out of it, so, you know, he doesn't need to pay me anything extra. Fantastic. So let's get his first 70,000 litres down to the docks. That is import export, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Or is that up at the airfield? Let me check the map because I'm now doubting myself. Import export is. Oh, no, that's interesting because import export. It's still shown as the cell point down there, but that's... Oh, yeah, of course it is. Next to it is the building that's got the uh, hay and straw. Fantastic. So it's down the docks. Right. Let's turn this round. Let's get down to the docks and get this first load undone. Undone. Unloaded. Done. 70,000 litres. Which means I now need another 80. Which am I going? Not sure. Another 80,000 litres, and that's the contract complete. I'm not going to get 80,000 litres off of this field, but I'm going to get more than I thought I was going to, so it's all good. Uh, let's go this way, and I'll see you down the docks. I've done the journey down there a lot on, on this Let's Play. It's not like it's a secret route I'm taking, um, so I'll see you down the docks in a minute, ready to unload. In the time it's taken me to get down here, it says Helper K's already got a full grain tank. Right, so that's the wool cell point. That's for buying hay and straw. Oh, of course, the cell point's here, isn't it? Right, cover off. So that now goes into storage. That'll be shipped to Chipsons. First 70,000. Just good business. 60,823 pounds. Let's get back up there quickly then. That seems to be filling up way quicker than I thought it would. Build 13 is complete and it has been muck spread too. This Brocard EV2200 is mine. I bought it. As you can see in the top corner, my money has gone down. So this is mine now. Uh, I bought it, went down to the livestock market, filled up with manure, and what have I got left in that? Uh, 32,000 litres left of that full load. Although there was. Oh, there wasn't any left in it, was it? I'd used all of it up, that's why I got rid of the leased one. Right, that's leased, that head is going to go. Don't need that for the time being, but here's the moment of truth. 
51,188 litres off that field, bearing in mind it only had two fertiliser states and it hadn't been ploughed, which isn't bad. Which means, with the 70,000 litres I've already done, that takes me up to 121,000 litres of 150,000 required. So I'm only 30,000 short. So I can do, well, I can pick a field really um, and do corn in it. As long as I get 30,000 off of it, I will have completed my contract for gypsums but that's going to be something for another episode I would imagine because I've got to obviously reseed I've got cultivating to do I've got some tree removal to do I've got other contracts I'm working on um, the sugar beet will be ready soon not the sugar beet the sugar cane um, so yeah lots happening I'll get this down to the to the uh, where am I going? Uh, I should go this way, shouldn't I? Down to the marina to imports and exports, and we'll sell it there. Ready to be shipped, and we'll end the episode seeing where I stand financially. Try to drive on other people's fields and crops and things like that. Righty ho. Get off. So 30,000 litres left to do. That's actually not too bad. That's more than doable. I'm very happy about that. Another 42,000. So the 60, we've made 100,000 off that corn so as far as I'm concerned gypsums doesn't owe me anything but that's the payment um, and I've supplied the corn for their new corn liquor and that is the end of another episode I hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>